Legos, you know, you play with them when you're a kid and you never think of them in this kind of way. To watch him engineer a machine out of Legos and he's creating something that is a robot. It's literally a robot. If you're gonna push creativity, you've gotta be willing to kind of open your mind to anything. We try to figure out what does Aero do exactly in aerospace? What do they exactly do in defense? It's not clearly defined, and I think they intentionally like it that way. So what do you do from a creative team standpoint with that? And that's where we said, well, let's bring it back to the basics. We're bringing it all the way back to what five-year-olds would see it with, and that's Legos. I went to Google and I typed in uh, world's best Lego robotics designers and came up with this guy. So we, we reached out to Arthur uh, via email wrote us back, said he was super excited about the project, and then from there we just did a few Skype calls from Brazil. I'm spent some time prototyping some, some parts of the machine. So that's kind of the, the primary folding uh, mechanism? Yes. yes. I think that's the most important part. It's going to be really fun just watching you kind of do your work, so we're, we're pumped. Yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting. Always that this kind of thing happens and I get excited because it's something that I like to do. I got it as a really nice challenge to build a, a machine that can fold paper plane that really flies. I'm not going to use a lot of normal bricks, so it has pins and connectors. It's quite impossible to go to, to Lego and buy, oh, I want to buy that element, so. They don't sell a paper plane folding machine? <laughs> no, no, not yet. <laughs> We have to shoot the commercial Friday, so it's essentially four days that he has to get this machine done. When you, you have free time, it's much easier because when you get tired, you go home and take a rest. But when you have a deadline, it's something that uh, is quite difficult. Uh, I know that it looks like crazy thing, but uh, I'm going to rebuild this machine. So you have this banding thing, it's not good. So I would change it. I think it's going to have a better result. Yesterday I finished this uh, press machine. Uh, this one is much more powerful. Now we have some kinematics also with a motor, so we can have this kind of movement. We need to work hard to have all these things working together. It's a mix with stress. Oops. Well, I need to think about it. But also motivation. There is a lot of things running together but uh, I think that we are going to get it. Hey guys, today is the last day. We just need to do some settings, some calibration, but it's almost done. It was quite difficult to do last night. I spent a lot of time on it. It was a terrible time, but now it's good. I didn't sleep. <laughs> no, I left 6 a.m. here. I went just home to take a shower and back. This is a, is a great metaphor for how Aero takes all the parts that are needed to put together something so complex as aerospace and defense. The businesses that we're in are sometimes difficult to articulate. Working with Elevation has been amazing. You guys have come with incredible ideas to articulate those in really unique and interesting ways. The paper airplane machine is cool, but it's not quite enough. We need something that hits people on an emotional level. We added in this really cool sound design. We have quotes from JFK, Charles Lindbergh, and Neil Armstrong, really just to give you a sense that Aero is kind of building off of the history of aviation and innovating going into the future. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I don't want to fold just a plane. I wanna fold a flying plane. I love that challenge because when you have this kind of feeling, you can think how to change other kind of things. Because we need to solve problems. We have a lot of problems everywhere. To be able to see and to test and to make things, it's wonderful.